Today is Thursday, it's throwing it down outside. Now in Yorkshire, throwing it down means it's pouring rain very heavily from the sky. And the, the theme of this vlog is actually, I'm going to call it Yorkshire Woman. Because as you people know, I have a quite a distinctive Yorkshire accent. Although, if you'd heard it many moons ago, when I still lived in the Fine County, it was probably much stronger and uh, wilder in many respects, just like me. <laughs> anyway, so yes, so it's throwing it down outside. I, yeah, here I go again, I was thinking, I was thinking recently how proud I am of my county, Yorkshire, and the people who live there. There's something about Yorkshire people, we have to have it, we have to have a direct message. We want to give a direct message and we don't want any fannying about as we call it up there. Just tell me as it is, tell me as it is, and if I give you the answer, that you probably don't want or uh, if I make a statement that you probably don't want to hear then you know we don't do it deliberately to upset or offend we do it because that's our nature that's our breed it's how we are we speak directly and <clears throat> I've had to learn oh, quite swiftly when I moved away from Yorkshire actually I had to learn uh, that that directness that bluntness is not always um, taken as it's meant uh, and you have to soften the delivery sometimes and uh, I think I've mastered it now well not quite mastered it I'm always learning as we should all be learning my darlings as we know so Yorkshire woman and Yorkshire people but this Yorkshire woman is what we're talking about this Yorkshire woman in front of you now uh, she's um, she's she's very fond of uh, of, of saying things in the right way, trying to say things in the right way and getting the point across. Uh, she, she's, she loves to listen and hear points of view and uh, if, if she's so inclined she will maybe change her own mind. But in some respects she's very fixed as well. So anybody who knows me will probably agree with all that but they will probably also say, ah yes, gra uh, nanny vlog. Here comes some granny vlog then. Whew. Ah, yes, nanny vlog. But in addition to that, you also have uh, that crazy streak that makes you amiable and amicable. Uh, I'm not trying to blow a trumpet here. I'm just trying to describe me as a Yorkshire person. And I think many people who hail from the fine county have that humour as, as part of, it's just innate, the humour is there and it's sharp and witty and sarcastic occasionally, um, dead, dead to the point, you know, you can't fail to miss it unless you, unless you're from, I'm not going to say down south because that's too generalistic, I'm going to say unless you maybe don't have a sense of humour yourself, um, this is not going well is it? What I rang, oh, sorry, what I'm here to just explain is, without rambling on too much, why not? Why ever not, Yvette? That's what you normally do. Okay. Um, today, I came across a word, because I'm, I'm in an apostrophe group, because, oh, I'm into grammatics in a big way, and grammatics, not dramatics, although I do like dramatics, but no, not, I mean theatrical dramatics, I don't mean drama queen dramatics. Anyway, stay with it, stay with it. Uh, I came across something today on this group, um, the, this group of people that, that are on FB, and it's called the Apostrophe Group, and uh, we're all very pedantic, and <laughs> you wouldn't think so listening to me, would you? But anyway, somebody posted something about a word that they tried to enter into, uh, you know, into the post, and for some reason, the iPad or the phone that they were using would not accept this word. And the word was Trina. And the word is spelled T-R-Y-N-A. I'd never come across it. Several of the people in this group had never come across it. And so you, what you do, you go straight to Google, don't you? If one time, we'd have to go down to the library. But I went to Google, and there it said in Google, slang terminology mean, meaning trying to. Now... 
to me, if I'm do, trying to do something, I will try and do it. Not trying to, I'm not trying to do something, I'm trying to do something. Which brings me into that Yorkshire speaking way. Yes, we do have uh, certain idioms that we use. Um, and on this, I've never ever heard a Yorkshire person, a genuine Yorkshire person say, e by gone. Because <laughs> we just don't utter those words. Um, we say, well, I can't, well, my, you know, we'll go to foot of our stairs or whatever, I'll go to our house. But we don't say e by gone. Oh, not in my hearing anyway. Um, but I'm from the west of Yorkshire, you know, it's a bit nicer there. Uh, sorry, the rest of Yorkshire. Anyway, I'm rambling on far longer than I expected to, and I'm already on five, nearly six minutes. So I just wanted to get across this message about Yorkshire people, the way that they are, the way that they deliver themselves in speech and manner sometimes. Um, and I don't know if I told you this, but um, I came across a saying via my mama a, a few years ago she said to me she said well you know you never need, you never need to ask a Yorkshireman where he's from because he'll always tell you <laughs> and I remember that and another one that I want to tell you before I go and this came to me through an ex-colleague years ago her grandfather was from Bradford of all places notice we don't say D we say Bradford anyway and he taught her as a young child to say this. Where was she? Was she? Was she? Ah, she was. Which in Yorkshire speak means where was she? Washing. Was she? Yes, she was. I hope you enjoyed this, my darlings, as much as I've enjoyed entertaining you once again. Look after yourselves, especially this. Keep giving all you can of that. And in the meantime, I shall see you later. Hopefully this rain is going to stop and the sun is going to shine again. Anyway, love to everybody, as always, and take care of each other. And don't forget, naughty means nice. Do it. Just be naughty. Love you.